Sometimes one big hit is all it takes to get a team going. We'll see if they can build on it and make a run here. Danny Farquhar is going to come on in relief as he'll be making his 20th appearance of the season. Jeremy Polito will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Polito. some outfield grass hits a base hit. Well, that base hit right now there batting. extends the streak to 10 games. When you start getting hits over Noah. 10 games, you've been pretty consistent oh. over the last two series you've been playing. Really good ball right now. Into the box now. Boyd Hull, he swings and sends a bullet to right field. Now a dive in right, but he can't haul it in, and now this is going to be big trouble out there. And he is in the second base with one away as the go-ahead run. Well, you can't fold the fielder for being aggressive. He sold out to try to catch this thing, but he comes up empty, and the ball just squirts by him. High risk, high reward move that just didn't pay off. Here's Hank Conger, swinging a ball yanked down the right field line. And that will get down as he delivers a big one here. It's a base hit in to score the runner from third. But it is not in time as they take the lead here in the late going. Well, you love it when you come back late in the game, and all of a sudden you get a two RBI hit. You find yourself, you were down one, now you're ahead. Let's see if the pitching can hold on now. Ready once again. Lewis Lustig, not much in the way of productivity. First pitch of the at bat on its way. A swing and a liner to left center field, and that's going to drop in for a base hit. Throw comes in to third now, so they're at the corners here with only one out. Well, that's now, a line Bobby. drive single, but Second the runner's not going to score. Now, remember, Henry with less than two Sierra. outs, he had to freeze. Hit it a little bit too hard at the wrong guy. He'll take the hit, but no RBI. Alan Russ will come now, on in relief here and appear in game number 25 number on the year so Alan far. Russ. Standing in now, Henry Sierra. And he puts it on the ground to second. Throw on to first, so they get the out, but a big insurance run is in to score as the lead grows to two now. Wow, that was a great job to rob him of an RBI single. Showed some great athleticism, and it winds up being an RBI ground out instead. Slow roller back to the mound. Throw in time for the third out, but it certainly took a while as the inning is finally over. So a great inning there as they bat around to score Your six times to, to open up the lead. Right Jeremy Polito will stick around as he'll take Jeremy over in right field. Polito. Ready for another chance? Eduardo Rosario. He'll beam. see what he can do leading off the Dead home eight. Eduardo Rosario. Hey. Starts things here with a changeup for a called strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Behind a changeup, if you can imagine, for a strike. And a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first out. Digging in the switch hitter. Player number two, shortstop, Forrest Jeff Gomez. Melendez. Your answers the call please. now, looking to get this now one onto the ninth the inning without any trouble. Number 32, Jeff Melendez. First delivery to him on the way. A fastball, and he swings through it to fall behind. That's a big fastball, obviously, and we're going to see this reliever throw it a lot. 
And now pitch on the way. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. When you're down here in the minors, it's all about honing your skills and getting someone to notice you. Well, I've been noticing this guy on the mound all game long, so I have to think this outing will go a long way towards getting him some good recognition. A swing and a miss on a ball that jammed him. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces. Sid Sisk will stand in yet again and he of course has had one of the big blows in the contest so far. This was back in the eighth as this solo shot proved to be a very important run in this ballgame. And now we'll see some action in the bullpen as the lefty starts to get loose. Into the windup and the pitch. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Eibner racing back to the track. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the now inning. First baseman. Striding in once Fletcher again. Fletcher Purcell. Purcell. Two hits in three at-bats for him in this one. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Hit hard up the middle. And that'll just elude his outstretched glove for a base hit. Matt, that's his third hit of the night, his third single. I'm sure he'd like to have a double or something next in, but for now, Left he'll fielder, take the three for four. Taylor Motter. Taylor Motter steps into the box. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Set to deliver the 0-1. Oh, and he gets a hold of this one as it's in the air to deep left. Does he have another one? He does. It's another home run. It's a two run shot to straight away left his second home run of the game as they open up a four run lead. Well you've got to love seeing a team that's never satisfied. They were up but they've extended the lead to an even more comfortable four run margin. Going to be tough to come back from this one. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. The right fielder, Into the box, 15. Jeremy Polito. He swings and grounds it to short. Throw on to first, two gone. Now, buddy, designated hitter. now at the plate, Lord. Lloyd Hull. Hull. Into the windup and the pitch. This one's flared out toward left. Eller moving in a dive and he brings it in and on a fantastic play the inning is over worth a second look here as this is a beauty to end the inning don't go anywhere more Tuesday night baseball after this so digging in now Dan Leading Beverly he comes in with a couple of hits including right a fielder. triple in four at bats. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one one and oh over towards the dugout but this one will get into the stands and there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner that's a good pitch to lay off right there that cutter inside and that is a real tough pitch for hitters to lay off of and a lot of times if you do swing at that cutter in you're going to end up with some firewood in a broken bat. Pinto gonna have to hurry set to deal on two and two another one sent foul another try at two two still hanging with him another good swing to keep it going now a ball lined to the left side foul this is turning into quite an at bat that's five foul balls he's seen a lot of pitches chop foul over towards the dugout. On pitch number 10 is the one that finally does it as he strikes out after a long battle here. Standing in, Jim 
Tucker looking for hit number three here in this at bat. Almost a worm burner as he misses on a low fastball. Ball one. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Hit hard but fouled off toward the dugout. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a liner, but foul. Well, I think he's trying to get that two strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled it off instead of putting it in the seats. Well, that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. And here's a ball hit in the air. Pinto is there, and folks are starting to head for the Everybody. exits now. Two gone here in the ninth. CJ striding into the box. CJ Crone. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. And he takes ball one. Called strike at the knees. Evens the count at one and one. Pretty adamant about working him inside right now. Back to back fastballs and that one. And he'll step on first for the out and the ball game is over. Wow, another game and another night to celebrate another victory. I'm just excited we've been able to be here to witness this amazing streak. There's nothing prettier in the world than good baseball, and that's just what they're giving us. This one comes to a close with a 9-5 final. The Tacoma Rainiers slugged their way to victory with 15 hits. Chris Rodriguez gets the win in relief, his second of the year. Jeff Melendez hammers down the five out save his second so that just about does it for Harold Reynolds Dan Plezak and our crew I'm Matt Vaskersian you've been watching MLB the show for more make your way on over to the shownation.com fans our final line score first for the victorious Rainiers nine runs on 15 hits no errors they left 12 men on base for the Stingers, five runs, 10 hits, no errors. They left 11 men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 43 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.